well resourced. People have heard about Catalan. Catalan is quite prestigious. Um, it's often taught in, in universities. So in England, there are quite a few universities that teach Catalan. So firstly, you have those students that have been on holiday in the Catalan speaking territories and actually they, they perceived that there was something amiss. You know, they thought they were going to Spain and that they were going to be able to use their Spanish. Then um, we have people that literally want to, want to escape from literature papers and they, they just want to learn a language. Then we have those that had already decided ahead of time that they wanted to do their year abroad be it in Valencia, be it in Mallorca, be it in Barcelona. And they kind of know that if they do Catalan, their possibilities of finding something cool to do during their year abroad are better. And then we find those that belong to national minorities within the UK and that have, they, they have a sensibility towards minoritized languages. They need not be native speakers of the minoritized language of their territory, but they do have you know, they have an interest for what's going on elsewhere and for languages that are still alive. But certainly, I think that the fact that, you know, there is a wealth of literature out there that people study Catalan literature, people study Catalan film in universities, the fact that it's regarded as as kind of an academic language, as an observer, you can certainly see that, you know, Catalan is, is globally, I would say, um, well, well regarded and, and has prestige. For me, it felt like I was giving the keys of my culture to people who were just opening the door and discovering a whole new world. And I particularly remember the first, the first class I used to give and I used to use this PowerPoint slide um, with different images of very Catalan things, not just Catalan, things from the Catalan countries. And it was things that would baffle them, like, uh, I don't know, a purro. It's like, wh what do you think this is used for? And you have them looking at me like, I don't know, this is some weird contraption or, you know, you show them a deal, the shooting log or the cagane and, and they get very lost. <laughs> I had been in Cambridge for years, I had been exposed to this, you know, received pronunciation accent and so on. And the day I had a scouse coming into the classroom, a scouse that actually spoke scouse. Oh my god, I didn't know what to do. And then a Glaswegian came in and that class was a very hard class to teach. But I, I knew that the problem was mine because I just had not been exposed to those English varieties. 